Hey everyone, this is Broomster, and tonight I'm coming to you with a puzzle called White Park by Fellas Timon. Um, this is Fellas Timon's second ever puzzle, apparently, and the testers said that this was really fun. Um, uh, so yeah, I wanted to do it. I'm not going to talk about other stuff that's going on on my channel at the moment because I am in the middle of an absolute frenetic period of stuff. Um, so I have no idea when this video is going to drop. I have no idea how I'm going to make it all work. I'm literally recording in breaks at the moment. So I'm hoping to get through this one pretty quickly. The tester said I should be able to do this one in the half an hour or so I've got. So, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I have no plan. I have no idea when I'll be able to edit this. It could be days before I can edit it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> winging it. Um, so, uh, Phyllis Timmons said that, um, this puzzle was on, um, their Wattpad page. I don't know what Wattpad is, but, um, if I, I'm going to try and remember to throw a link to that in the description, if it's not there, um, someone remind me and I'll try and make that happen. Um, yeah, so how does this one work? So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Um, we've got consecutive dots. So cells that are separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. And the clue outside the grid, um, it's just a copy and paste of the rule, so it says clues, but the clue outside the grid is the sum of the digits along the indicated diagonal, and digits can repeat along that diagonal if allowed by other rules which is good because there's only nine digits along that diagonal and without repeats there's no way to get to 54. So they're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer because it was already at over three days. I, I am really happy. Mm. Um, let's give this a shot. So lots of consecutive dots which are different to Ren bands. So people... I, I remember a discussion with someone about what's the difference between a chain of a consecutive dots and a chain of and a Ren band line. And in Ren band, they can be in any order, but on consecutive dots, they can't. So this here, I think, has to be a five. Because this line, if this is, for example, if this was two, well, where does one go on this line, I suppose, is the question you have to ask. And it'll be the same with nine. Because I, if I put one in the middle of dots, then the things that are consecutive with it are zero and two, and that's not going to work. And nine, it would be 10 and eight. So one and nine have to be at the end. Now, what that means is if this is a one, this becomes a two, and then it can't go back to one, so this would be a three, and then it can't go back to two, so this would be a four. So this is either one, so these become two, eight, because it's either going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So these become three and seven, and these become four and six. This could... I don't think I want to use the diagonal yet. I think I need more information because this could be a one and these could be high. So I don't know. So do I now jump to this line? Because this is six in a row, which means it must have four, five, six in it because it's either one, two, three, four, five, six or nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Because it's, um, or actually, no, that's not true. I'm thinking Renban here. Yeah, but they are in a row, and these are three in a row. But four, five, six have to go somewhere. Now, if I put four, five, six over here, if I put four, five, or six over here, what are these six going to be? So, for example, if this is four, three, two, I can't put one over here because I don't have two to go next to it. If this is four, five, well, you know, if this is four three or if this is three four five then i can't put one or two over here so these have to be extremes and i and the four five six has to be in here because i'm trying to think how to explain this if i don't put four five six in here yeah i, I can't put the one and the nine in here is the way to put it because these are six digits in a run and I can't get from one to nine. So either one or nine is in here. And if the one is in here, then this is one, two, three. And if the nine is in here, this is nine, eight, seven. So four, five, six is in here and they're not in these three. These are four, five, six. And this is either three, two, one, which means five is in the middle and these are four and six because four, five, six is in a run. And this is either six, five, four, three, two, one, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are either one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine, but I don't have an order on those. Hmm. 
But this row is the same. Wherever I put one in here goes to three. And wherever I put nine in here goes eight, seven, and I can't put them both over here. So one of them is over because then they, because this is a run of six. So one of them is over here. So this is either one, two, three, or nine, eight, seven. So four, five, six is in here and they're not in here. So this is four, five, six. So this is the five. This is four and six. And this is either three, two, one, or seven, eight, nine. I've got a two, eight pair there. And this is one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine. Hang on, if this is seven, eight, nine, no, wait, it could be seven, eight, nine with this being three, two, one, or seven, eight, nine with this being, yeah, I don't know the order of that at all. But what's this? This is weird. What is that? Because it's either one through eight. So this has to be one or nine. Is that right? Because I can't put one and nine on a run of eight digits. So this has to be one or nine. And this is either going to go, oh no, there's lots of options here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, hang on. I can't go one, two, three, four, five, because there's a five there. And I can't go nine, eight, seven, six, five, because there's a five there. So the, the other one nine has to be here. One, two, so one of these has to be a one or a nine to start this run. If it's here, one, two, three, four, five doesn't work and nine, eight, seven, six, five doesn't work. This is the one or the nine. So this is two, eight, three, seven, four, six, five, four, six, three, seven, and two, eight. I've got another five, which puts a five down there. This is a four six pair, but we didn't we knew that there was no four six in here, but this is this is the same. This is one or nine. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, which it could be, but one, two, three, four, five, it can't be, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, it can't be because of the same one. This is one or nine, and then these are two eight. Three, seven, four, six, and this is five. And this is the same logic as this row, but in reverse. And now I've got one nine pairs here. Now these rows are more complex, aren't they? So I can't put one or nine in here. So, but I could put it there. Where does five go in here? Or in here? This can't be five. So five is in one of those, but this can't be five. Because five, four, three, two, one, zero, minus one, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, this can't be five. But if this is five, I, but I need to put five on this. So this isn't five either. So five is in one of those two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But five is in one of those two, which puts five in one of those two. But five can't be here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or five, four, three, two, one, zero, minus one. This is a five. And one, two, three, four. I can color. Because these are all either above or below five. Let's call them green. And these are all above or below five. Let's call them, actually, I'm going to use blue and yellow because that seems to be more comfortable for people. These are all either above or below five. So these are the other ones above or below five. Now, these are 
in the same above or below five. And they can't all be blue because then I'd have five blue. So these are yellow, but these are all in the same band because they're a run of digits. So these are all blue. And now these, this has to be yellow because I've got all the blue. So this is a yellow digit. Now wherever... This is a yellow digit because it sees the blue one nine. So these are all yellow. These are all blue. This and this are the same color. This is blue because it sees the yellow four six. So this is blue. So these are all blue and these are all yellow. Yeah, because I'm that and that and that are the same digit. So the yellow one nine is in here some. The yellow one nine is in here somewhere, and it can't be here because then I'd need to go down from it somewhere. This is the yellow one nine, which means one two. These are all yellow, and that is a five, and these are all blue. That's nuts. And this means these are four six. These are three seven, this is two eight, and this is a blue one nine two eight. And that can't be the blue one nine because it sees the blue one nine. Wow. Five is there. So these are all the same color and they can't be yellow. So these are because all of the yellows are already taken in this box. So this is four six three seven two eight. 1, 9, which actually works for, I've got no duplicates here, and this is the yellow 1, 9. These are all yellow, and they are 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6. This can't be, if this was 5, oh, that could be yellow, but it couldn't be blue. If this is five, these are all yellow. And if this is five, this couldn't be blue because both of those would be blue. These are yellow. Well, they're connected and they're not five. So they are yellow because they can't be blue because I've already got them. So these are both yellow, whichever way it goes. And this is blue. And these are all blue now. Now, I can't go yellow, yellow, five, yellow. That doesn't work. This is yellow and this is the five which means this is 4, 6, not 4, 9, 4, 6. This is 3, 7, this is 2, 8, and this is 1, 9. And this can't be the blue, and the blue 1, 9 can only go there. Whoops, blue 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6. I may be able to resolve more of this now, but this is fun. These are 4, 6, these are 3, 7, this is 2, 8, and this is 1, 9, and this is yellow one nine which can't go there so this is yellow one nine this is yellow two eight this is so much fun this is blue because it sees the yellow one nine so these are all blue and these are all yellow and now what were these i'm not sure yet but these are yellow and it sees one nine two eight and three four six so this is three seven so this is two eight and this is one nine because it has to go either one, two, three, or nine, eight, seven, and I can't put the nine, and because it's yellow, it's it's completely forced. I can't go um, seven, yellow seven here, because that just doesn't work. And the yellow that's left is the two eight. Now, yellow, uh, I'm not sure about this, but I am sure about these, because that's a blue three seven. These are all yellow, so these are all blue, and this, well, one of these has to be the blue one nine, and it has to be at the end, and it's not that one. So this is one nine, two eight, and three seven. And I've got all the pairs figured out. So now it's got to be this. Now, that is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark those with, let's use purple. Okay, so on that diagonal, if these three digits, which are all the same, were ones, that would be eight from those three digits, and all of those digits would have to sum to 54 minus eight is 46. 
Now, these would have a maximum of six because they're low digits. So these three digits would have to sum to 40, and I can't do that. They'd have to be well over 10. So that doesn't work. So yellow is high. Okay, there's a 50-50 chance I got that. So yellow is high. So these are 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. This it, blue is low, so four. This is six, seven, eight, nine. This I could do it a faster way, but this is fun. One, two, three. Uh, this is six, four, three, two, one, nine, eight, seven. This is two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, one. This is four, three, two, one, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm just using running up and down the numeric band on my keyboard. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four. Six seven two one nine eight seven six four three six seven eight nine one two three four and this is eight seven six four three two one and I finish with a nine and that's the solution to White Park by Phyllis Timon. That's really fun. Um and I really want to stress the concept of this puzzle may not be mind-numbingly original or anything, but it was a lot of fun. Lots of oh wow moments while solving a puzzle. Not oh wow of that was really ingenious and I've never seen anything like it before. I've seen a lot of tricks like this used before, but it was just pure, oh yeah, that was fun. Real, real fun. And let's face it, if we're not doing this for fun, why are we doing it? Thank you, Phyllis Timon. That was great. I really needed that today. Thanks very much. Hope everyone is enjoying the content. Um, at the moment, I know it's sporadic. There's been a lot of stuff from the backlog that's probably going to continue for a while. Um, thanks to everyone in the community who's been bringing me support. Um, you know who you are, and I cannot thank you enough. Um, sorry I've been as absent as I have. I'm doing everything I can to just stay on top of stuff. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.